Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this smoky halo eye using the subculture palette. I mentioned last week that I wanted to do a bit of a mini series using all of my Anastasia palettes. So last week was the modern renaissance and this week was subculture. Hopefully the next one should be the Norvina palette, which I'm super, super excited for. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you want to see how I did this makeup look, and just keep watching. Okay, so if you've already watched my previous videos, you'll know that my favorite base is the P. Louise base, but I've never actually used it with subculture. So today I'm gonna to be doing a bit of experimenting and we're gonna do eyes first before foundation. I'm also gonna do brows last, which I've never done. So this could be a complete disaster. So as always, just taking the P. Louise base on a concealer brush. Mine is the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F17. I'm going to pat that into my eyelid and carve out my eyebrow. Okay, right, so I think I want to go for like some sort of sunset look. Um, but it's going to have a bit of an autumnal look to it because we'll be using subculture. Okay, I think I'm going to start with the shade New Wave. Which is the orangey yellow shade and as always I'm taking that on my iconic London crease brush I'm just gonna dip in ever so slightly oh, so much for <laughs> so right now I'm just focusing on packing that shade on I'm not gonna worry about blending it out right now I completely forgot I wanted to use sellotape oh my god oh genius where is it gone? So far, so good, I would say. It's not looking terribly patchy. All right, I'm gonna try the shade edge, which is the mustardy yellow, which never really comes out as a mustardy yellow. So again, I'm just dipping in and getting rid of that fallout. I mean, this is one of the shades that a lot of people had problems with. So far, looking pretty good. This is just the third time I've dipped my brush back in and every time I've dipped it in very lightly. And I, I really like this palette but I really think it's looking great with the P. Louise base. Definitely think that the um, that Anastasia's formula is my favourite eyeshadow formula. And honestly, with the P. Louise base, any eyeshadow looks amazing. You really just get the most beautiful and smoothest of blends. I really, really thought I'd be struggling, but I'm having, so far, no issues. And especially considering I am using one of the shades that was more problematic at the time of release. I do kind of want to go for that sunset effect. I think I might actually even go for a halo eye and see how I feel. So the next shade I'm going to take is going to be the shade All Star, which is this really pretty burgundy plummy colour gonna take that on another fluffy brush again from Iconic and again I'm just taking a little bit and adding that into the crease okay right now this is looking a little patchy that's okay let's not panic <laughs> 
let's just go in with some more blending and see how we go. I'm going to go back in with a bit more of New Wave on that first brush because it is looking patchy right now. Definitely looking a little patchy, which is a bit disappointing. But what I'm thinking is, if we turn this into a halo eye, we can rescue this. Okay, I think in the crease, we've kind of got what we want. And I think where it's patchy, we'll probably just end up being covered up by the halo eye. So I'm going to leave that, move on to the other side. Okay, that second eye hasn't taken anywhere near as long to do as the first one. I really don't know what happened. So, for the next one, it's going to be the shade Rowdy. Where is it? There we go, Rowdy. Okay, I'm going to take it on my Morphe M138, which is just a little pencil brush. Anyway, I'm applying this on the inner and outer corners. And we're going to blend that out with the brush from the previous shade again. Okay, things are looking a little bit messy at the moment, but they're kind of going in the right direction. So the next thing that we want to do is take our base again and just cut the crease. And once I've got my shape defined, just going back in with that Morphe brush and just softly blending out the edges. So yeah, with a really small brush, I'm going to see if I can kind of recreate the gradient that we had in the crease. So I'm just going to start with All Star. Then into new wave. Okay, and then I'm going to take this nice little flat brush that I got from a set on eBay. And I'm going to take the shade Adorn. I'm going to try and complete that halo eye. I'm just going to jump back into new wave. Back into one star. giving me the effect I want but it's not quite as clean and neat as precise as I would want it to be so I'm just going to add some glitter liner and I'm using the collection glam crystals in the shade 3 funk just adding a line peeking through in the crease I think this look needs liner, so I'm going to go in with the Inglot AMC Eyeliner Gel and I'm just using the black shade. My favourite brush to use it on is a Zoeva 315 Fine Liner Brush. I'm going to quickly cheat, go into my Modern Renaissance palette and using my Morphe M558 fan brush, just take the lighter shade Tempera and just quickly blend out under my brow bone. Right, okay, that's it for the top lid. Still got mascara and lashes to go, but I like to do them last. So I'm gonna zoom you out and we're gonna move on to the face. Okay, let's prime the skin first of all. I'm gonna use the Jouer Anti Blemish Matte Primer just because my skin's decided to play up a little at the moment. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I'm in the shade 115 or R230. And then blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. Next step is concealer. And with this foundation, I like to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer, the shade I've got is NC15 and I'm going to apply it with a Morphe M224 which is pretty similar to the blank canvas brush that we used earlier. Okay, 
You can tell the temperature's cooled down a lot because about two weeks ago, this was much easier to use. It's really stiff today. And then blending out with the sponge again. Next up I'm going to set my under eyes with the RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm just going to be using what I think is actually meant to be a blush brush for that. And then on a mini Real Technique sponge just quickly setting the base of my nose and my smile line. This may well be the part where I ruin everything now, we're going to attempt to do the brows. I've never ever tried to do my brows at this stage in my makeup so this is going to be interesting. And I'm using the L'Oreal Paradise Pomade Ecstatic in the shade 101 Light Blonde and just taking that on an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. So combing through the brows first then warming up the product in the lid and then going in with short strokes. Right, I'm going to jump back into the RCMA powder and finish the rest of my face. Oh, and I almost forgot to set my eyebrows, so I'm just going to use my clear gel from Max Factor and do that quickly. On to contour, and the one that I use pretty much every day is the NYX HD Blush in Taupe. Then contouring my mouth and my nose with a small brush that I got on eBay. Okay, let's quickly finish off the eyes. I'm gonna jump back into New Wave and just apply that to my lower lash line. And then blending that out with Edge. I feel like for liner I want like a nice burgundy, but I don't have one. But I do have this Barry M Lip Liner in the shade just number seven, which looks like the perfect color. So we're gonna see if it works. Okay, so I'm going to go in with mascara quickly and I use Urban Decay's Perversion, it's my absolute favourite. For bronzer, nothing original there, I'm using the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in Blonde Harmony. For blush, I'm going to go in with a current favourite of mine which is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach. Just dusting a little bit across my forehead, my nose and my chin just to add a little bit more colour. I also want to apply some lashes, I'm going to use the Case Lash Couture in the style Pinoir. Okay, I just went ahead and applied my eyelashes off camera and now we're going to move on to highlighting. And I want to stick with the gold theme, so I'm going to take the Soph X Revolution Highlighter Palette and I'm going to take the two gold shades here. So for lips, I really feel like a dark lip would suit this look, but it's just too soon for me. Autumn hasn't started yet. So I'm going to start by lining my lips with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Trophy Wife. And for lips, I'm going to go in with the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade Honey Mood. And just to finish the face off, I'm just going to give myself a quick spritz of the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Spray. So that's it for today's look guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, definitely took a lot of patience and a lot of blending, but I really like the way it came out. It's, um, well I wasn't planning on creating the halo eye, but the blending and the colours, that's pretty much what I wanted. So. Yeah, that was a pretty good look and I'm really excited to get to play more with Subculture um, as the weather gets colder and colder. <laughs> so remember guys, if you enjoyed today's video then make sure you give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'll be seeing you on the next one. Bye!